What's good, y'all? Stuart V for Venom Sports, and you know we spit that fire. All right, so this was kind of a crazy week of college football, man. Some crazy wins. I think that win, that win with Ohio State um, and Penn State, that was an incredible ending, a 27-26 to 26 win for Ohio State. And it leads me to, to this point of the whole ugly win concept that has come up over the years. I just don't understand... If your team wins, I understand you want that there's a certain way you want them to win. But it's like you got to look at this thing as, okay, you live to survive another day. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure that that there are plenty of teams yesterday, Penn State being one of them, that would have loved to have that ugly win like what Auburn got against Southern Miss. You still put a win in the win column, and you still look at the body of work at the end of the season to determine – what teams go to the playoffs you keep winning i don't care how you win field goals safety however it is you give yourself a chance to win to to be in a position to make the playoffs at the end of the year that's the bottom line and and this thing weekly we want to crown or just down teams just because of how they played in one week i think that's naive so you know, I, th- I think all these football fans need to be realistic. Yes, I know you, you know, a lot of you all are alumni, diehard fans, absolutely. But you got to understand, these are kids, they're not going to be blowing teams out every week unless they're Alabama. And, and if you think about Alabama's schedule, they're set up to beat these teams. And not because their their schedule is necessarily a cupcake schedule. They just have superior talent, baby. And that's just what it is. Tua Tungavailoa is going to get 300 yards in the first half against Universal Louisiana Lafayette. It's just going to happen, right? Because of his talent and the talent that he has around him. Now, just because your Auburn team or just because your Kentucky team or whoever, they struggle a little bit, that doesn't mean that they're not going to compete down the stretch. You got to give these guys an opportunity. Everybody doesn't develop or it's not all, you know, some teams develop as the season goes. You know, sometimes you got to figure out what you have information-wise in order to make what you're going to have going on work. How many people, by show of hands, how many people would have thought last year, for example, that Auburn would have been in the SEC championship this time last year? Nobody. How many people would have thought at the beginning of this season LSU would be a top-five team in the country, by show of hands? So... Week in and week out. That's why you gotta play every single game. That's why. That's why. That's why they schedule every. So you take it one game at a time, and that's how you come up with it's a. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Auburn actually lost to. I mean, not lost to, but struggled mightily with Mercer last year. Mercer is like a FCS school in Georgia that hasn't even had football that long. But Auburn struggled with them. But they still beat. Alabama and Georgia respectively as they were number one teams in November of last year so you can't count your team out just because they're struggling a little bit does your boss count you out just because you're struggling a little bit at work everything can be developed all right so I just want to throw that out there man because there's a lot of frustrated fans out there they're trying to figure out man the offensive line ain't playing good just be glad they won baby they won That gives them another opportunity. Once again, my name is Stuart V for Venom Sports. And you know we spit that fire. Y'all take it easy. Happy Sunday. Man, what happened to the Falcons, though? All right.